guess it's let's play going boys, I am Magatech294, and this is part 3 of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. And we start off with Knives Chow, the downloadable character for two bucks on, on Xbox Live and PlayStation Network. As you can see, we're starting off with a party that Julie's, Julie Summers has. Julie Su Summers hat has it arranged for Scott in order to get his butt kicked by the Katyanagi twins. And so in in this episode, you get to see a Chin a Chinese teenager take out two Japan Japanese men. I got the word that better. And as you can see here. If Nines is flashy, she could be the most broken character in the game. Not me broken. Okay, for Nines Chow, she was originally the Daisy Scott program when, when Scott saw her among the flowers for the first time. It, if it wasn't for Scott, she wouldn't even be in love with the Clash at Demon Head and fans like that. And so when Scott ended up ended up breaking up with her, she ended up taking it way too hard and ended up becoming a stalker. And eventually leading up to a fight with Ramona from, from Flowers, almost with the camp. Oh, and as you can see, beat, beat up the piano, get money. Heck, what? How come I couldn't have that for my birthday? Instead of candy popping out, how about money? Eh, candy needs 10 times better. And simple. Disco ball dodging, just stay to the side or do what I just did. I should just stick to the side, honestly. Like I said, all the characters are level 16 and all their stats are at max, so this is a cakewalk for me. It'll be slow for you guys if you're just now starting, but... Stick to it, and then the game gets a whole lot of fun. As you can see, Robo One has joined the party. So basically, get on, find the gloves, and let's get down. Scott's dad actually has a shop. Get yourself back to full health. Just take the blue, blue, blue mignon, and then quickly run up. Let the fire escape, because if you don't, those robotic hands will crush, crush it, and you will fall down and take damage. Now I try my best not, not to run, because if you're too fast, you will over. You will get caught on stuff, and you will fall. And try not to get hit. Super fighting robot invented by the twins, size maximum. Okay, for this battle, boss battle, all you have to do is attack the hands. And when you go to the 
background. Watch out for the missiles. Now you can either run around and dodge, or if you get hit, just use your recovery button. And... Now when you take off, take out one of the hands, the entire arm blows up for some reason, and he will fire his laser! And all you have to do is take out the other hand, which I do now. The dragon's doom. Destroy, destroy statues to get money. If, watch out. Don't, not ever, don't try to hug the lower wall, cause, well, if you couldn't see there, there is no lower wall. Cause you are surrounded by spike pits. And we got a new enemy. We have a bad guy who's not really new. But we now have a guy who blo blocks way too much for his own good. So I can, like an upgrade to the, oh crap. An upgrade to the yellow haired dudes. Time you jump and you can go over the spike pits without ever having to do a certain platform. That's thing. Of course, the bouncers return, this time being generic enemies instead of, instead of the, follow you through the entire stage. And this is a one-time gimmick where the snakes pop out of the floor, and you never see it again. And thanks to those TD pads, I ended up landing on the platform. And I sort of fail at this, but you can dodge those balls without getting hit. You just need to time your jumps correctly. And don't step out in front of one. See, like that. Now these guys come out of set to stasis, and I think that's actually a reference to Super Mario RPG, honestly. I'll just juggle those those two out of frustration until I get hit. And now in, there are two ways to do this. One, punch and multiple times until it goes in, or just do that. <laughs> Use your special move. And it slides it right in. Now it's time for the A the Asian br Nah, I can't think of it. And it's just time for two Asian people to go fight. Now, the Katayanagi twins? Yes, they're brothers. And thanks to Ramona, they became the fifth and sixth evil ex boyfriend because she ended up cheating on one with the other. So they vow never to be separated again. Now, I already there is an achievement which I already have called uh, Oh crud, I forgot the name. You know, where you beat up the twins simultaneously. This is an achievement from the Scott Pilgrim book. If they just decided to add it into the game. Where it would be twins simultaneously. Which is what I'm trying to do. As of right there. Money. Money. And time for Nice to tell me.
no time for the fi final character to show off before I have to preset. <laughs> is none other than my least favorite character, Nega Scott. And Nega Scott is. Oh, 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 before I do that, time to fight Mr. Chow again. With two lives and 40, 37 percent health. Now, like I said, Vegas Guts my least favorite character, so I don't know how to do all the moves. They know how to do the injustice, but oh, and Mega Knives. No, this is the only time you see Mega Knives. Mega Knives is in game only. She's not in the movie or the books. She does make quick work of her own positive father. If you have not seen my previous episode, Mr. Chow is Knives' is dad. If you beat Mr. Chow, you do not get a nega Mr. Chow. You just get regular Mr. Chow as a sub-character. There is no nega. Which I thought that would have been a nice touch, though. So. Oh gee, I wonder who that could be. Now the first couple of minutes in this stage, it's me trying to figure out how to do the special move. See, so I go to the move list. And it's a hold for two seconds. Sorry, I had to seize there for a moment. Ooh. You could tell it's the fall season. Especially, especially if your allergies start acting up. Boy, vey. This was a walk. Sorry. I'm blow my nose again. Yep, there it is. It's a Hadouken! Beat up Doberman. Pick up a Super Mario 2 Radish. Or is it Rutabaga? I think it's a Radish. Get beaten up by the owls. Actually, you're supposed to beat up the owls. But you can't leave the... This portion of the stage until you beat up the owls. For some stupid reason. Pick up the key and go. Now, if you accidentally keep oh, by the way, go to next moment that I fail totally fell upon. And Wolverines with Wolver X Men's Wolverine uh, special power from Marvel vs. Capcom. I don't know which one, so don't. But oh, hey, positive sis. Now this is Mobile Secret House, where you get special training. Well, you can buy a special train. There's another place where you can get it cheaper. Let's show you. Here, I'm just buying food that'll. That way, I have a better time with our, our boss. Which I'm playing next. Yeah, I had to show him off anyway, so I just. And then there's me trying to do. Do that again. 
never do it right. Yeah, well. Whoa! See, the reason why I ran for the key is because I didn't want it to despawn. Because I have uh, been a total... Total BA, throw it from like here, open, and was able to open the door. But if you're not good enough, it will despawn, which has happened to me before. And I had to go all the way back to where you originally found it, grab it, and go all the way back to the door that you need to unlock. Plus, like how these Wolverines just stay in one place while you are beating up its brethren. Oh, look at this! He could have attacked me, but he did it. Danger, danger! The sky is falling. And more golden eggs. I only got like three bunnies off of it, though. And of course, I go back for another point. And there's the door. One thing I hate, hate about games, graveyard settings. Boy, do I hate graveyard settings. And what is Resident Evil doing in my Scott Pilgrim? There is too many zombie games out there, and now Scott Pilgrim is one of them. You know, I kind of feel sorry for the female one. Yeah, she looks, she looks cute, but that's because it's a 16-bit game and blah blah, and a whole lot, lot of other stuff. But, you gotta feel, just looking at that face, you gotta feel sorry for me, or the, or at least the females. If she wasn't, you know, puking up blood and able to stretch her arm out, I was totally like that. Along with, uh, along with, uh, uh, and if she didn't have a taste for brains and flesh, then, again, I wouldn't mind like I think I just made a new fetish. And now, what I'm trying to show off here is that you can lead a zombie into, to these grave holes. Which I will show off later, but right now I'm just trying to... Right now I'm just playing Ring Around the Rosie with three zombies. He's always says, forget it, I'm kicking their butts, I almost fell in. And... See, right there, he, that idiot just fell in. I don't know why this guy's here. He's just an emo with a an emo dude with a skeleton uh, mask on. First, get to have money. Just make sure it's your money and not someone else's. Get up so I can kick your butt. Thank you. out, get money, and time for another boss battle. Negative Scott, he's supposed to be age 24 by now, but he, no wait, yeah, he's supposed to be age 24 now, not 23, and he knows how to do the Hadouken without problems. No, Negus guy has a crap ton of HP, and if you do not know how to take him down easily, you're basically screwed.
Good thing I maxed out too, because that could have done a whole lot more damage. I think the Negan I Negan Scott is beaten. But that's it for this episode. This is Magatai 294 signing off until next, where we take on the fire no evil X And all the tricks is on again. Here's our final X. Jason Schwartz!